and angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for June 29th through to July the 5th. Wow, we're at the end and the beginning of another month already. And I'm here in Orange County, California, with my beautiful friend Janie. Um, I've been fortunate to stay with her several times over the years. It feels like home to me. I'm so excited. We, we um, were quite near the beach and we saw this amazing sunset from the distance last night. So I'm planning to be at the beach for a sunset and just spend some quality time with people that I haven't seen for a couple of years. So I'm actually going to be here for the next 10 days. So you'll be getting a couple of readings uh, from me from here. And it just feels wonderful. It's sunny. It's starting to be sunny outside. It's very warm. I get to wear summery clothes for a change. And I'm just loving my time in California. So I'm going to be sending you some positive energy from here. And let's see what the angels have to say for us for Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to be using the Angel Tarot cards again because that's the deck I bought with me to travel. And so let's see how the, the messages follow on from last week. All right. Here is the message from Monday and Tuesday. Seven of Earth. Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Okay, so we might feel a little stressed, a little edgy at the beginning of the week and things may feel a little up in the air. There may be things that we need to clear the air with or people that we need to clear the air with, things that are on our mind that are, are causing us worry, but that it's not lasting. In fact, you know, I want to say that no time is is wor a worries lasting because everything changes, life changes all the time, doesn't it? And particularly right now, the angels are asking us to have faith that what is occurring right now, that what we are concerned with is really um, just a fleeting thing. And actually, it's really important that we stay extra focused on the outcomes and the feelings that we really desire. And so, as I've said many times before, turning our worries into prayers. So, for example, if you were concerned about a person or a relationship, you'd say, thank you, God, and all of the angels for helping us both, for surrounding us both with your love and peaceful energy, for helping us to communicate lovingly and honestly, and for reminding us of the truth, for helping us to experience peace and harmony with each other or whatever it is that you're experiencing but just know that when you do that not only does it feel better doesn't it because you're focused on what you want and the vision that you have for the situation but it means that the angels God and the angels can really intervene that they're watching us struggle sometimes and they can't do anything because of our free will so Please do ask for help if you are feeling that worry, if you're feeling concerned about something and know that they are here to help us through those times. You know, human life is not easy. It's not to say that we don't have those fears and worries sometimes. It's, you know, it's part of being human, but it's just we don't want to stay stuck in them. Okay, and the angels are saying there's no need to stay stuck in them. There's things that we're going to learn this week that will help us to move through the worry and help us to actually feel even better than we did before. Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is interesting. It's actually this, the card that follows the seven of earth, which is eight, of course. It says, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. Now, there's, there's two things I want to say about this card, because yes, it's very practical. There's a fairy there with plenty of books. And I do feel that this is a time for us um, to learn, to learn new things. I just said that, you know, I'm traveling right now and I'm not doing a class. I'm not here for a class. I'm here for a vacation. I'm doing a little bit of work, but mainly vacation. And yet the traveling and being in new places, being with my friends and learning all of the time and experiencing things that inspire me and, you know, and I, I just love it. It's one of the reasons I go. So if you are feeling called to have a new experience, whether it's a class, 
you know, meeting new people, whether it's actually reading a book that you feel inspired, you know, sometimes a really good thing to do is, is just to go to a bookstore or your own bookshelf and just see what catches your eye. Sometimes a book will even fall off the shelf. That's definitely a way that the angels have got many people's attention over the years and mine. So if that is you, if you're feeling like, you know, there's something that I am feeling guided to do, I'm not so happy in my career and I want to change it, often learning new things or, um, you know, delving into new information in that way is the perfect way to lead us to the next step. You don't have to have all of the answers right now. But going into a place of like, oh, this is this is exciting, I want to learn new things, will help you to keep your mind and heart open to what the angels have in store for you. Remember that what you feel passionate about, what you feel drawn to, is your purpose, is your passion. We're supposed to do those things. It's not simplistic, it's real, it's really real. We are supposed to do the things that make us feel alive and passionate and sparkly. That is our purpose. So it doesn't have to be our job all of the time, remember, but doing those activities, doing those things, learning new ideas, learning new skills is definitely uh, a sign that we're on the right path because we're supposed to be um, in that open space. But, you know, because we had the seven of earth as well, and we were talking about learning and, you know, our fears sometimes, they are showing me that this continues to be a time when we're really learning about ourselves and learning about life and, and what it is that we want to focus on. So it doesn't have to be practical learning. I do feel that there's an opportunity for both in both instances. It, it could be that you are feeling like both is relevant to you. But whichever it is, just keep your keep your mind, keep your heart open to, to new experiences, to new opportunities, because it's all for our highest good. And if you are concerned, about how you're going to fit uh, anything else into your schedule or you need the money to be able to take a class or a course, do ask the angels and fairies. This is a beautiful fairy here. They are really, really, really excited always when we ask them for help with our abundance or, you know, making more time because they are waiting for us to live, you know, live the things that excite us, that live the things that are authentic to us. There's nothing that they want to do more than provide for us in that way, okay? All right, so this is more of an emotional card, Ten of Water, and it says, a contented and rewarding family life, your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. Okay, so this is definitely... Um, more about our more personal life at the weekend and they're saying that if you're looking at the reading as a whole um, particularly because we talked about perhaps some fears coming up and some worries and then we looked, talked, talked about learning they're saying that really uh, the crux of this week is deeper trust in ourselves in our dreams in you know our experiences and in people really being honest with ourselves about what feels right and what doesn't because then we're going to have the relationships that reflect that trust and so if we can trust ourselves more if we can go I'm going to breathe out that fear I'm going to breathe out that insecurity that part of me that is going into panic or wanting to please other people then we're going to be able to have those deeper relationships that really make our hearts sing you know we have fears all the time we're human it's okay, we just don't want to live there, right? The whole point of it is to be able to connect more deeply here, here. And first of all, it always starts with ourselves and then knowing that that feeling that we're, um, the security that we're feeling within ourselves then gets rippled out into our experiences with others. Remembering also that as earth angels, as sensitive people, light workers, whatever you want to call those of us who are watching these videos, is that, you know, one of our greatest lessons is to trust ourselves. We have this huge intuition. We are deeply sensitive for a reason. And yet because of people pleasing or because we don't want to hurt other people or whatever, sometimes we are not always honest about what is right for us. Or perhaps we are feeling scared of our feelings in some way. But you know what? It's better. It's better to be honest. It's better to be real. And then you're going to have, 
you know, even even greater experiences than you had before. So it's really worth the risk. It's not always easy, but it is worth the risk because they're showing me that there is a deep, deep learning about us going out of worry into our central place, into the place that we know that we're taking care of. And interestingly, it says your emotional and material needs are met. So particularly because we were just talking about, you know, perhaps wanting to change our careers or doing a study cl class. This is also saying, yes, yes, yes. When you do that, when you say yes to that, you are being provided for emotionally and financially. So do trust yourself, do trust your insights this week because it is leading you to somewhere that will really help you to feel that sense of purpose, that sense of being alive and we all deserve that. So I'm sending you much love from here in California. I will be talking to you again from the same place next week. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye bye for now.